Hey everyone, tonight we are starting a brand new series called God Is. And over the next few weeks, we are going to learn a lot about who God is. Tonight we're going to start by talking about how God is our creator. Did you know that God created the world and everything in it and everything out in space as well in just six days? That's pretty amazing. Our God is a powerful God. But everything that God created, God created with a specific purpose. So I want you to take just a minute and think about something. What is something that you have created? So take just a moment and think about something you've created and why you created it. Well, did you think about something that you've created in the past? Well, let me ask you a question. Who was it that decided what you were going to make? Who decided how you were going to use that thing? Who gave it its specific purpose of how to play with it or use it or whatever? It was you. You're the one who said, I'm going to make whatever it is you were thinking about. And I'm going to use it for whatever purpose you decided because you were the creator. You're just like an architect who may build a gigantic building, and the architect is the one who decides how that building is going to be used. Maybe it's for people to live in. Maybe it's for businesses to use, to move into, to sell whatever product that they have. Or maybe it's a designer who's making clothing or shoes. And when they make the shoes, they make those shoes for a specific purpose. It's for people to use to walk in, right? You don't see people walking around with shoes on their hands. They're made for people's feet so that they can walk, as well as other items of clothing. Or maybe it's a chef who makes a brand new recipe so that people can come to that restaurant and eat that specific recipe. Well, he created it with a specific purpose, which is the same thing with God. Everything that God made, God made for a reason, and he gave it a purpose. And when God made human beings, you and me, he gave us a purpose as well. And that purpose was to have a relationship with God and then to live for him every day. You can read all about God's creation in Genesis chapter 1. So God created man in his own image. He created him in the image of God. He created them male and female. God made us in his image, which means that God expected us to live for him, to live like him. So whoever God is that we learn about in the Bible, that's who God expects us to be. And the way we do that is by having a relationship with God. In John 14, 6, Jesus said that he was the way, the truth, and the life, and that no one can come to the Father, God, our creator, except through him. And so God said, if we will believe in Jesus and we will give our lives to him, we can be saved and have that relationship with God, which is the reason why God created us in the first place. And one day in heaven, we will have that perfect relationship with God. But until that day, God has said, while you're on earth, live a life that will bring honor and glory to me. And how do we do that? Well, we do that through prayer and through Bible study. Let me read Philippians 4, 6. Listen to what this verse says. Don't worry about anything, but in everything through prayer and petition with thanksgiving, present your request to God. So prayer is important because that's how we communicate with God and we learn more about God. And then in 2 Timothy 3, verse 16, it says this. All scripture is inspired by God and is profitable for teaching, for rebuking, for correcting, and for training in righteousness, which means we can learn a lot about how God wants us to live by reading his word, by studying his word. And God says, as my creation, I want you to live like me. He wants us to be like him and to bring honor and glory to his name. And so our job is to fulfill the purpose that God has created us for. And if you don't know Jesus, we would love to have the chance to share more about how you can be saved so that you can fulfill the purpose of why God has created you. Now, one thing I would love to do in this series is give you a memory verse every week, something that you can memorize. So this week's verse is Revelation 4, 11. 
I challenge you to memorize that verse and film yourself saying it. You can post that video in the comments. Here's what Revelation 4 verse 11 says. Our Lord and God, you are worthy to receive glory and honor and power because you have created all things and by your will they exist and were created. God is our creator. He made us to bring honor and glory to his name. And I hope all of us can do that this week.